are you? Kid, come over here. Oh, don't freak out. Come on. <laughs> I am just uh, an ally. I know you're probably not used to seeing somebody without a head. That's okay. Uh, I just need your help, all right? You one of the new recruits? They've been bringing in a lot of you lately. Well, I was one of the first people out here died in the first battle. Bad luck, huh? But anyway, I came back to find the bastard that cut off my head. I must be a spirit of revenge or something. I haven't quite worked out the details yet myself. But, if you would be so kind to help me find this individual, I know the battlefield is a pretty crazy place, but uh, believe it or not, I'm a pretty skilled warrior. Mm. Listen, I got unlucky. You hit me from behind. Not fair play. You know? From the front, playing fair, I'm unbeaten. Show me how you hold that sword. See? Look at that. Rookie errors. What are they teaching you? How long did you spend in training before you came out here? Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> they really get desperate, huh? And what did you do before this? Farms. <laughs> so I'm guessing you can at least hold a pitchfork. But, you know, you stand a chance. You look strong, healthy. Don't want to end up like me, do you? Tell you what. You help me, and I help you. I have all the time in the world, literally. So, after we find this guy, I can help you brush up your techniques. Uh, make it a bit more likely you will survive this war. Hmm. Good to hear. So, this guy. I didn't get a great look at him. Uh, only what I caught when my head was tumbling down to the floor. But, he had a scar on his face. Just over his eye. Left eye. Going all the way down. And he was wearing a real fancy uniform. Something you'd expect a commander to wear, maybe. Only seen it a couple of times. Yeah. It was a bright blue coat. That would probably be what we're looking for. Anyone bright blue? I'm gonna cut him down. But before we go, I want to make sure you are properly prepared. Have you got water? It's so important. You know, everybody underestimates it, but you're fighting, you're gonna get dehydrated, your movements are gonna slow, you're gonna die. It's just a fact. <sighs> so, have you got it? Good. I knew there was something clever about you. Along a similar line, have you got some food? Just a little something. Bread, biscuit. Just something to keep you going. You need fuel to cut down your enemies. <laughs> Not that I need it anymore. I don't need anything. 
Not that I can have it in the first place with my neck not connected to the rest of my body. <laughs> okay. You sharpened your sword beforehand, I presume? It makes a big difference. You'd be surprised. I always carried a whetstone with me. Made sure that blade was super sharp. It's the difference between cleaving cleanly through your enemies and getting your sword stuck inside somebody, costing you a few seconds and possibly your life. Hmm. It's the small things that make a difference on the battlefield, you know. Speaking of which, there's a super effective way to freak out your enemies and give you the upper hand. I need to hear your war cry. Come on, really go for it. Nice. <gasps> yeah. Scare him. You know, rookie, I think you've got a pretty good chance. Yeah. I'll put my faith in you. <laughs> so, what do you say? You're gonna come out with me? I mean, famed headless horseman. It's gonna be scaring quite a few people. Although maybe I'll at least try to reattach my head. It's gonna be a massive pain trying to fight while holding this thing. Hmm. Got any suggestions? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see. <sighs> if nothing else, maybe some super glue will do the trick. Anyway, either way, get yourself packed up. We're heading out into the main battle. Thanks for helping me. I'll be sure to return the favor. Surely having me watching your back can't hurt. And the benefit is no one can cut my head off anymore. <laughs> Let's get going.